Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have a very belated video about two humble bundles of interest to game developers. I apologize, I've been on vacation, just got back, was traveling when these launched. Uh, but the first one is meh, to be honest. It is Game Dev TV's Gamescon Unreal Engine Flash Sale. Now Game Dev TV, I love their stuff, their training courses, excellent stuff, highly recommended in that regard. So why is this meh? Now the value, the value just isn't that special. This is a collection of six Unreal Engine courses, as you see here, plus one pack, a material pack for Unreal Engine. It's just we've had a lot of these in the past and we've had them at better prices. And we are going to probably have them again and probably again at better prices. But if you are an Unreal Engine developer looking for some learning material, I highly recommend the Game Dev TV stuff. And this is a decent deal. It's just shy of 20 bucks. There's no tiers here. So that is the um, Gamescom, Gamescom Unreal Flash Sale by Game Dev TV. TV. If you're looking for Unreal Engine courses, hey, could be a good pickup. But again, we've seen these in the past. So just don't be surprised if you see it again and you get more for the same amount of money. The one that's newest is the Game Creator Mega Bundle. It's actually launched a couple of days ago. This one is all about um, RPG games, basically. So meshes, models, animations, sprites, special effects. A lot of this was aimed at RPG Maker, the software. As you can see from the description up here, we'll work with Game Maker, Unity, and Godot as well. Also, there is actually a game engine in here as well, 001 Game Creator. Now, it has been in previous bundles as well. So just one of those things to be aware of. Uh, in terms of what you're getting here, at the top tier, you're getting 110 items for 20 bucks US. We also have the mid-price tier, which makes no sense at all, and the $1 tier, which is huge, but it's generally $1 tier stuff. But if you want to get like a preview of what this kind of stuff is all about, what kind of sprites and assets you're getting, uh, there's a lot here in the $1 tier. Uh, but the best stuff, obviously, is at the top tier. This is a typical Humble bundle. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do, and thank you so much if you do, help support Game From Scratch. Now, you're going to notice there's actually a number of different creators involved here. And the one you're going to want to be aware of is Visu Stella. So there's some licensing encumbrances here. I will get back to the details of that. I find those licensing details a little bit disappointing. There's also this guy in here as well. This I actually covered this on the channel. It was in a previous bundle. Uh, it is redeemed on itch.io. It is a tool specifically for working with a lot of the other assets here. So PV games and Laser Wolf games stuff. There's also a level editor in there for creating 2D maps. Uh, you've got Lua integration in there as well. So basically, it's also like the bones of a um, RPG style game engine there. And it's also got support, again, for PV game assets, a number of which are in this particular bundle. And I'll show you how those show up and then how this tool can be used for assembling them into sprite characters and so on. On top of that, you're getting a number of different packs. A lot of this stuff is for, again, so here you see, this is tile maps, a variety of different tile map stylings there. Uh, we got special sprite effects and such going on here. So a variety of uh, special effects there. Uh, then we get into a number of different character packs, a number of characters, a ton of characters in here. I've got some sound effects and music in here as well. Uh, and then again, we get into the PV game stuff here. Now, the one thing that you're going to get with this stuff is you're generally getting um, kind of a source version of it. So you can really modify things to work best in your game. I'll explain exactly how that works just by giving you an actual example. So here we are. Uh, in our downloads folder. I've downloaded a couple of different assets. We'll take a look at, uh, for example, the PV game stuff here. And they actually have a document that kind of describes how their things work. So we got some tile sets and they're 32 by 32 grid or 64 by 64 if you're working in isometric stuff. But the thing that's probably most interesting is the way their characters are created here. And it's like, you see here, you've got basically a near nude character here. And then you layer effects and, and um, inventory and equipment and armor and such on top of that so you can create a huge number of different sprites and the end result is sort of a diablo-esque result so here you can see world war ii characters here is the axis character so you've got like the base character here uh and we'll show you so you've got the uh top level version like this is more of a uh, a character or inventory screen type character that you would see so this is a paper doll that you could then put things on top of so here again is the, the base paper doll. So a number of different uh, poses there to work with. And then you'll notice they've also got sprites. So here on the sprites, you'll see a sprite sheet in a variety, eight directional poses for like climbing, walking, attacking, jumping, and so on. And then you'll notice the, the layering on top of that. So for example, here, uh, pants. So we want to give our character some pants. We've got pants for the paper doll. So go back here, here's your paper doll. And then you take the pants 
and they overlay on that particular frame. We've also got that for the animations. So here you can see all the various different frames of animation. So here you can see our character in a variety of different poses. So here he is doing a right walk, for example. Here, corresponding, there is the right walk part. And these will work together. And then that tool from earlier on can be used to create and automatically recognize these file formats and create them yourself. But implementing this inside of a game engine is super simple. Basically, you're just drawing things by the Z order. So you draw this layer here first, and then you would draw the pants over top on the next layer. And you see you've obviously got a sprite for each frame in the animation. So I like the way that these things are set up. And the end result is a very Diablo-esque art style. So that is the PV game stuff. Uh, here we've got the core, one of the battler things here. You're seeing you're getting raw PSD files, a number of them for a number of different characters. Here is, for example, one of the characters from that pack. And you notice it is, again, a bunch of layering together. So we're opening this one up in Affinity Designer instead of Adobe Illustrator. Uh, but it gives you an idea of the kind of character you are working with. So let's open this one up. So here you got your base character right there. Uh, we can switch to more Insectile, if you wish, right there or demon like that, or you do a bit of a mix and match like so, or we can have angel wings instead of demon wings and so on. So it is a character in a variety of different um, and different uh, setups and configurations for said character. And again, this is entirely vector graphics based. So we can grab anything here. So for example, this special effect going on over here, it can be moved around. The, a lot of times there is your uh, inking layer and so on. So you're getting the raw material to work with so you can modify these things to your heart's content. Uh, so that is one of the, um, the other art packs in there. We'll look at one last one here. I'm not gonna bother with this visual Stella because I don't like their license. So here is the dungeon, uh, isometric dungeon stuff. So it gives you an idea, you can create dungeons like this. So it's a bunch of tile maps work together. There is the end result here. So we'll go back up here. You notice you've got doodads, floors. So here are the various different floors. Floors with snow. Let that, oh, that's literally just snow. Let's go back over here. So volcanic floors or cave floors or so on. There is the raw effect. And then we've got uh, other things that we can layer together here. So for example, here walls and doors. And here is a door. So there's all transparencies here. You can build, use them all together to create isometric style environments. So it gives you an idea of what some of the art assets in this particular bundle look like. Again, 110 there, um, mostly from about four or five different creators. Uh, you get them this way. By the way, I have not redeemed that key. So if you're fast, the first person, hey, welcome to 001 Game Creator. Everything else here is a download. You can grab there. Uh, so they're from their servers very randomly in size. Nice thing is humble. You can download them as as many times as you wish. In terms of assets, the majority of things are under this terms, which are very reasonable. Basically, you, you, you can use them however you wish. No attribution, attribution is required. You just cannot use them for training AI. Um, may not be sold as like an asset. You have to use them in a derived work. Pretty standard for any kind of asset. Uh, you cannot sell them as NFTs without permission, and you cannot put them into like a content I type, content ID type database. Now, the Visual Stella and Dream Circle stuff, they're under their own license. Uh, the, the Dream Circle stuff, the EVFX license, it's fine. It's totally normal. The Visual Stella, uh, it has this clause. It's totally completely fine otherwise, but it has this requirement to in your credits or documentation or whatever uh, to give accreditation to their or attribution attribution that you use their assets. I don't know why this is there. It's really stupid. I would remove that. Uh, it's not going to be a big deal for most people, but that is the license for the Visual Stella specific stuff. Um, so that's the only one you're going to want to be aware of. Everything else is quite reasonable. Just for some reason, they want their attribution in there. I don't get it. I don't like it. Just one of those things you want to be aware of. Also, by the way, I did a video somewhat recently on 001 Game Creator. So if you want to learn more about that particular game engine and is it any good in 2024? Well, I did a video answering exactly that question. Again, I did this because it was in a humble bundle just a couple of months back. So this one has been doing the rounds. So there's a good chance you probably already own it. Uh, but if you aren't, if you don't, you're interested in learning more about it, 
It's an interesting game engine. Uh, it's a little dated at this point in time. The other thing you're going to find is there's a number of humbles going on. I did a video on this one. This one is from Meshing Gun, a number of different Unreal Engine and Unity assets. There's the town pack here as well. Some great Unreal Engine assets there for just like creating cities and towns and buildings and interiors and so on. Then we got the two that we just covered today. Plus, we've got some music stuff here as well. We've got a soundtrack pack there. I'm not covering those anymore in videos because they're so common, to be honest. Again, we got samples and loops pack here as well. But if you're into the music side of things, a couple of assets going on as well plus this brand new one here uh on training materials for like uh, ableton live if you want to learn how to use it uh and how to you know basically create music as well so there's some really interesting stuff going on but the two that i'm focusing on today unreal engine flash sale which again is only going to have about three days left as of the time i publish it and it's fine if you're looking for unreal engine courses game dev tv create great stuff i just don't find the value to be particularly amazing at this point in time and then we've got uh, this one here the uh, mega bundle. They really like calling things mega bundles these days. Uh, but this is the game creator mega bundle software bundle. Uh, again, a number of different assets aimed at RPG maker style games. But as you can see, again, Unity, Godot, Default, whatever game engine you're working with, very simple to work with here. And a lot of times, again, you're dealing with high resolution or original versions of it so you can modify things to your own heart's content. So that is it. The game creator mega bundle and the... Um, uh, Unreal Engine uh, flash sale for game dev TV stuff. Let me know what you think. Again, apologize for being a few days late, but hopefully it taught you everything you need to know about these bundles. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.